Tired of those boring jack-o'-lanterns? <laughs> In this mission, you are going to hack a jack-o'-lantern with your micro-bit. Great that you join us. My name is Mick. So we are going to hack a jack-o'-lantern with your micro-bit. In this mission, you are going to use a number of electrical components and a sensor. You will use EL wire to create the face of the pumpkin. EL wire is a thin copper wire with a thin layer of phosphor around it. The wire emits lights when a current goes through it. You will also use a transistor. A transistor is used to strengthen electronic signals or to switch. In this project, you will use the transistor to switch the electrical current to the EL wire on and off. Finally, you will also use a PIR sensor. PIR means passive infrared. The sensor measures infrared radiation. As soon as a person, or your cat, comes within the reach of the sensor, it detects the difference in infrared radiation and it will send a digital signal to your micro bit. In your code, you will program your micro bit so that as soon as this happens, the on off code will start and the wire will emit light. Start your browser and navigate to makecode.microbit.org and start a new project. In the block forever, I place a block if then else. Then, from logic, 0 equals 0 twice. And in there, place read digital pin 0 twice. Then I change the first 0 into a 1. If pin 0 receives a signal, then do this, otherwise do that. Your turn. Then twice show lights and check the box of a light. If you look at your micro bit on the left hand side of your screen, then you see a blinking light. This is how I will know for sure that my pumpkin is active later on. As soon as there comes a signal from your sensor, this part of your code will start up. I place this pictogram into it. You can test your code by clicking on the micro bit on your screen on pin 0. Your turn. But I also want to send a signal to the EL wire. For this I use pin 2. I add a loop. And then write digital pin 2 to 1. And pause 100 milliseconds. Now I continue to copy both blocks and alternately do pass along the 1 and don't pass along the 0, the signal. By pausing every time, the EL wire will blink in a certain sequence. I make this sequence, but you can make up your own sequence, make it shorter or longer. Finally, I add a 3 to repeat. I want this code to be repeated 3 times. I can test my code again by clicking on the pin 0. Your turn. Done. Connect your micro bit to your computer, save and download the code and drag the .hex file to your micro bit drive. Once your code has downloaded, you disconnect your micro bit again. Your turn. Now prepare the EL wire and connect it. Unscrew the battery holder. Remove the top. With wire cutters, cut the jumper from this wire. Use stripping pliers to remove a piece of plastic. Attention! 
Always wear safety glasses when soldering. Use ventilation or air extraction so that you do not inhale the soldering fumes. And watch out, the soldering iron is extremely hot. Do not touch it with your fingers. Connect the power plug and solder the wire on the minus side. That is the side without the spring. First, I apply solder to the end of the wire. Then I hold the wire on the right spot and heat up the solder again. Now it is attached. Use the stripping pliers to free up both ends of a piece of wire. And solder the one end to the plus side with string. Your turn. My EL wire operation has a button to turn the EL wire on and off. I do not want to use this. The operation will be done via your micro bit, so I solder a connection that bypasses the button. Then wrap the operation with tape. Again, use the wire cutter to cut off the jumpers from two wires. Then remove a piece of plastic with the stripping pliers. Solder the one wire to the center pin, the base pin. Solder the other wire to the one outer pin, the emitter pin. Make sure that you solder the correct pin. Then solder the short wire to the other outside pin, the collector pin. Then turn off the solder iron. Your turn. Connect the three jumpers to the PIR sensor. On the sensor, there are two orange buttons. One is for the delay and the other one is for the sensitivity of the sensor. Once you have connected everything, you can play around with it to find the correct adjustment. Turn clockwise for a longer delay. The sensor emits a signal longer. Turning it counterclockwise gives a shorter delay. The signal that your sensor emits shall be short. Turn clockwise for a higher sensitivity. Your sensor shall react faster. Turning counterclockwise will give a lower sensitivity. Connect the jumpers. Now connect the transistor and the EL wire. This way. Connect the batteries. Ready for testing. Take the pumpkin and hollow it out.
Use a Sharpie to draw a face. I'm drawing this face, but of course you should use your own imagination and draw the face that you like. Make some holes. Put the EL wire through the holes. Your turn. Then I put all the other components into a Ziploc bag. That will keep them nice and dry. I place the sensor here. That's it. Place your pumpkin and wait and see until someone passes by. Great that you joined us on this mission. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will then be the first to know when there is a new mission online. See you at a next mission.